And new developments today in the push to keep the National Western Stock Show Complex on this spot in Denver. City leaders announcing the show is staying in the Mile High City, but admitting it could cost millions and you may have to foot the bill. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn asking questions about the future of the National Western. And Russell, the mayor says he may have to ask taxpayers to pony up. And they liken these facilities to the old McNichol Sports Arena or the old Mile High Stadium. They are old, they're expensive to maintain, and they're technologically obsolete by today's modern stadium standards. There's not even a working jumbotron in here. But the city says the show will go on because the stock show is too important to lose. It's billed as the Super Bowl of stock shows, and today it was all smiles and pats on the back at the National Western Complex. The National Western Stock Show is committed to the city of Denver, and we are unequivocally committed to them. The century-old Denver staple almost rode right out of town to a proposed new multi-million dollar facility in Aurora. We had to get over the question, is it going to stay in Denver? We have that answer now, it's staying in Denver. Now it's going on to what it will be. That remains to be seen, but make no mistake, the vision will likely include a new arena funded by taxpayers. We're at a moment now that's similar to where we were when it was time to look at the Broncos facility when it's time to look at the Nuggets. Although stock show leaders insist the annual January event is not losing money, they readily admit a stampede of deficiencies. The model we're under today, we cannot afford the deferred maintenance that's on the complex. Planners hint the vision will include a multifunctional complex, much like the Colorado Convention Center, driving revenues year round as it's hard to speculate on what it would cost and where the dollars will come from. So although there are issues with this 95-acre complex, the city says this complex is too important to lose. They say that the 16-day stock show pumps about $100 million into the local economy in January. That's why they couldn't let it get away. Live at the National Western, Russell Haythorn. Seven news.